Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe. So today I have a Troll Beads haul to share with all of you. Troll Beads recently released their um, Canvas 3 collection, also called the Love of Paws collection. And um, there's a lot of gorgeous beads in there and I did order a few to start with. And I got my order from Troll Beads Partridge Creek and look how beautifully it's wrapped as always. But look at this little tiny touch. They have put like a little um, paw print uh, charm over here uh, on the ribbon. And that is just really, really cute. And so, yeah, let's open this up and I'll show you the uh, the beads that I got. As always, there's some candy. There's a handwritten note, which I'll read in a bit. And then there's also this. So let me share this with you first. Um, so Troll Beads Partridge Creek also carries um, X jewelry. And um, I don't have a huge X jewelry collection, but um, I always forget that they have some uh, in their store. So I asked them this time and I did end up ordering a few um, rubber links from them. So these, okay, so these right here are some of the yellow links. I think they're called Mellow Yellow. And I have a few of these um, and I wanted some more. I think this would be a great color to wear um, in fall and even in spring and summer. I think it's a beautiful color, but especially with that mustardy yellow, I just think it will be really pretty to wear uh, in the fall. And so I ordered a few more of these. And then I also ordered a few more of the black ones. Again, um, I have I have some black links already and I wanted a few more. And so I ordered a few of the black ones. And there's more that I want, more colors in the, in the rubber links and a few more silver links that I have my eyes on. Um, and I'm hoping that I remember to grab a few each time I order from them. So that's the plan. So those were the X jewelry rubber links that I got. And then my... Um, love of paws uh um the pieces i picked up from that collection is in here so let's open this up and let me take off the tissue paper and so the beads that i picked up are here so this is um one of their glass kits uh they got they released two glass kits this time around one was this one which is the faceted kit and one is a smooth kit that they released and this one just stole my heart i loved all the beads and i wanted all of them and so i decided to get the whole kit now here in the u.s at least uh, if you buy a whole kit, so there's six beads in here. Um, so the pricing works out in the way that um, if you buy the whole kit together, you only pay for five beads. So one bead is basically free. And so I wanted to take advantage of that discount because I knew I wanted all of these beads. With the smooth kit, there's like, um, I think three uh, floral glass beads that I want so I'm going to get those slowly one by one but with this one I got all of them so let me take them off the ribbon and I'll show you each glass bead one by one this one right here is called garden of affections and this has a white base and on top of the bead you have these beautiful uh, leaves or branches uh, with and the leaves are green with some brownish maroonish color so you you can see how the leaves change color when um, autumn rolls around this gives me that um, that feeling the leaves are changing color and this is so beautiful so here's a closer look at the bead and you can see all the greens and the browns and uh, I just love it looks like uh, you know the branches are kind of um, swaying in the wind that's what it uh, looks like in the bead uh, especially if you twist it around that faceting makes them kind of move 
And so, yeah, I fell in love with this whole kit, but this bead in general, such a good neutral to have. Um, and it will go with so many designs. So this is the first one. This one is called Collective Sparkle, and this has a green base, and uh, you have these brown round circles, and then lots and lots of this glitter all through the bead. It is so beautiful. Again, very reminiscent of fall, and I'm guessing since it is the fall collection, that was their intention, but it is so, so beautiful. And I do feel if you use this uh, bead with the right um, other, like other glass and silver beads, you can definitely definitely design with this in the summer and spring too but yeah it's a gorgeous bead it is very sparkly and you can see that um, everything is at the core uh, the glass itself is clear at the top but yeah it's a beautiful bead so collective sparkle the next one is this one again a very sparkly bead and this one is called celestial sunset and there was a lot of variation in this one i picked one that is a darker color so this one is more of a an orangey brown almost it has all these different shades of orange and brown um making the base of the bead there's also hints of black if you can see those and then you have these swirls of glitter running over them and so it's a beautiful one again very reminiscent of um autumn and so um this will be fun to design with now so that's the third glass bead in this collection and this um glass kit this one is again a very neutral bead and this one is called bubble drift and this again has a white base and you have these black uh, bubbles on it like these black circles um different circles one on top of each other and uh some of these circles then have that glitter on them and so yeah it's a very very pretty bead this one i feel would be very uh, amazing to design with with Halloween designs because of the black and white and then just that hint of glitter really elevates the speed and so again this one is bubble drift this one here is called cosmic connection and this is the first one that caught my eye when they first started advertising this release and this has a black base and you have these different colors of stripes running through it um, you have yellow and blue and green and then that coppery color and it is beautiful again there was um, a lot of variation that i saw in this one as well uh, um, with how how broad these horizontal stripes are or what colors um you know in some you couldn't see the yellow as much but in some like in this one i picked one that had a little bit more yellow and same with the blue um some of them didn't have this much blue so this one, if you can pick it in person, it would really um, be helpful because there is the variation in it. And it's a beautiful one, I think, um, again, with Halloween, autumn, and even winter, I think this one will be really fun to design with. So this is Cosmic Connection. And then the last glass bead in this particular kit is this one over here and this um this one is called wind of memories and this has this uh light blue base and you have these again these undulating leaves almost on top of it um the leaves themselves are um yellow like that mustardy yellow and the orange and browns and it's beautiful so look at that how beautiful this one is it's very pretty and all of these beads they go really really well together so uh, i love this about troll beads that they create glass kits um of uh, beads and so and they all of them go so well together so uh somebody who's 
learning like I was uh, a few years ago, I didn't know what I was pairing or how I was doing things. And so this gives you a starting point of, um, you know, glass beads to use together in a design that go together. So this is my glass kit. It is so, so beautiful. I, I can't really pick which one is my favorite glass bead out of all of these because it keeps changing minute by minute. Um, and so, yeah, this is the glass kit. And then I also ordered this silver bead. This is the Pumpkin of Courage, and this was a definite must-have for me. It is so cute. Uh, so it is a carved pumpkin. You have the round eyes, the triangular nose, and then you have these teeth cutouts. Um, at the top, you do have this tendril, um, and at the back, you have a bat cutout. And you can see that it's not really even the ears of the bat and um that's a cute one and then there's a hole at the bottom too so there's a hole at the bottom a hole at the top and then holes on the sides so you could use this on a fantasy necklace um you could also use it as a splitter so it's really cool uh, what this pumpkin can do, how versatile it is. I do have the older pumpkin uh, from Troll Beads and I wanted to compare the two. So let's see. So this is the older pumpkin and uh, you can see that the carving is a little different. Um, on the older one, you do have the uh, triangular eyes and nose and um, the mouth here has the teeth and here you have uh, the bat cut out for the mouth. So if you look at both the bat cutouts, they're quite similar, but still not the same. So that's the difference. And then at the back of this pumpkin, you actually have a bat um, engraved or kind of embossed on the pumpkin. And, and here it's a cutout. So those are different and then another difference is the top here it doesn't have a tendril on this one it does and the biggest difference is that this one has these holes at the top at the bottom the new one so it can be worn right side up on a fantasy necklace and it can be used as a splitter so that's the difference the size is almost the same i i don't think there's a huge difference maybe just a tiny bit, maybe this is a tiny bit longer and maybe this is a tiny bit wider. But yeah, basically they are very similar in size. So I'm really excited to design with both of these on a design. And so yeah, this one was a definite must have. Now I'm not sure if this one is a limited edition or uh, if it is, um, you know, a uh, it has been added to their regular collection um, that you would have to check but this was yeah pumpkin of courage was a must-have for me so these are my purchases from the newest collection that troll beats launched this glass kit and the pumpkin of courage um I still have a few more that I really want. There's a clasp that they released with an acorn and some leaves that I want. There's an acorn's bead. Um, there's a few uh, glass beads, the smooth ones that I really want. And I'm also looking at a couple of cats that they released. So mm, I, my wish list is huge, uh, but this is what I started with. Uh, let me know what your favorite uh, piece that I got from this haul is. And um, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.